Hello everyone, this is a new uh, recording uh, for Linux uh, agent that I'm going to show you how to install and uh, receive a login for the same. So there are many steps uh, for uh, creating and installing and receiving of logs uh, in Forisim. So for the first step, you go on support.fortinet.com and download uh, for the same script uh, from the website. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to download this one. So you go to uh, for the same website and under you select the for the same product and under a uh, specific folder 6 version 6 because i'm using the newest version and then uh, you you should see for the same linux script so you download that one and upload it to operating system In the meantime, um, I'm gonna go on um, Linux document because I'm using uh, Ubuntu version 18. So if you look at the document of Linux agent installation under 14 website, uh, there are some prerequisites and you can see which version of operating system is, up, is supported some CentOS, uh, Ubuntu, and uh, Red Hat, and the uh, some Amazon are supported. So then um, we we first um, do an installation of the prerequisites, and then um, we upload the script and run the script. So now I'm going to do uh, prerequisites installation first. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna upload this file that I have downloaded to my Linux operating system, and then I will run uh, this script on my Linux. So I have uploaded my files under desktop. So you can see under desktop, there is uh, for the same dot uh, sh file. So um, based on the document, if you look at document, there is uh, some steps uh, for installation. Uh, actually, you should copy that one and bring it to uh, your uh, Linux. This one is a step that you can download the script that we have already done. The next step is installation of agent. And I, I'm gonna copy this one first. And then I copy the commands and change the some parts that is um, uh, related to my configuration. Uh, so the name of the file should be changed. Dash S is the super 
IP address that should be my super IP address dash I should be organization so that organization ID is one Organization name should be super. Uh, agent user should be agent. And the password should be uh, the password that I've entered for the agent. That's BCIT at 1234. And dash N. Um, that one is your host name, so you can enter like Splunk. You may need to install curl before uh, doing the installation of this bash script and uh, uh, after installation you should receive uh, installation successful so um, then we come back to forty. All right, now the installation uh, is success. Um, so then we can go to Forisim and see um, the IP address of our operating system, Linux operating system. So I log into Forisim first and uh, with my credential and, and then I will go to I would go under CMDB. Perfect. Now under Unix, I can see two operating systems. So one of them is my 133 uh, Linux operating system version 18. And uh, if you look at this status, uh, the status is registered and it means that we are not receiving log and we should wait until we assign a template. So what I'm going to do, um, if you go under Linux agent, because you should maximize uh, your browser uh, if you're not saying Linux agent and then um, we will create a template. So I'll call template Linux template. So under syslog tab, uh, you can select the facility and priority of each log. So I'm going to select some random um, like user and the other stuff. Under log prefix, you can monitor file or directory with 
long prefix long prefix prefix is a kind of label that uh, with this label you can immediately or quickly search under analytics tab so i'm gonna assign like label one or you can um, name it your own name so then you can easily access data here i'm monitoring uh, btemp file that's a very good file uh, for monitoring then i will assign my name as a log prefix Under FIM, you can monitor file or directory someone is changing, modifying, opening file, or deleting file. Um, I'm, I'm gonna monitor again var lock folder because uh, if someone is trying to add or change logs, we can monitor that person. Process monitoring is a new feature in version 6 that we didn't have this one in version 5. Basically, you monitor the processes um, of um, your Linux. So I'm going to enable this feature also. The next step is assigning your host to a template. So I'm going to name it like Linux uh, Ubuntu version 18. And uh, then I will assign my Ubuntu. And then uh, uh, my collector and my template that I've created in previous step. It is very important at this point, hit apply bottom. Otherwise your template is not gonna be is not going to be assigned to your host so um, to to assign your template to your host you should uh, press this button apply and then you're good to go if you look at this status of the agent now is um, running inactive so it means that um, you're not receiving log, but the agent installed successfully. So if you receive any logs, then the agent will be changed to running actively. What I'm gonna do now, right click and go to analytics tab. And uh, from analytics tab, we can monitor the logs is coming to our uh, for it. To generate some logs, I'm going to create a folder in under var log and create a file and then i will delete this file so it will generate some logs and then we can see logs under for it same
there you go we have some logs i'm going to show you some um, logs related to the file so most of them is coming from val log folder and you can see the watch file or folder is triggered and um, reporting ib is 133 so um, then we're sure that that's coming from our linux and uh, when we have change created deleted or modify file um, inside var and log then we receive this events okay and if you come back to your cmdb and look at the status of the agent you can see um, the agent is running actively or running active and that means that we are receiving logs and um, your agent is working properly uh, so that's it i hope this has been informative and thanks for watching